And we're live. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you for sharing. Um, we are live right now, uh, a little bit, a couple of minutes early. Uh, this is another edition of Coffee with Chris. So that's me. I'm Chris. Um, and the tagline we're for today is uh, canvassing the scene. So that might give you a clue of what we'll be talking about. But there's a lot of really cool announcements, a lot of really cool teasers that I want to go over today. Um, so this is going to be a really chillax uh, live stream right now. I'm live streaming from my desk right now. So nothing too fancy. Uh, what's up, Trish? Oh, yes, Trish. Of course, I got the hat. So thank you, Trish. I got this awesome, awesome shark hat. So thank you, Trish. You are amazing. Uh, Jason, Jason's laughing right now. Um, Jason was very jealous. Jason's very jealous that he got the shark hat. Or I got the shark hat. So thank you, Trish. Thank you, Mike. Uh, what's up, James? What's up, Jimmy? Hello from Toronto. Uh, I miss Toronto a lot. Um, that, like the only time I went was Fan Expo Toronto or Fan Expo Canada uh, last August, and I fell in love. I, I mean, the time's running out because I know you can only change your citizenship to Canadian like in your mid thirties. So I love Canada. Uh, that was definitely a country I would, I would love to move to. Dave Vasquez, what's up? Thank you, Trish. Again, this hat is awesome. Yes, Chuck. Shark Week Exetoscope. Hello, Brian. Hello, Aaron. Hello, Robert. Um, I got my shark hat. I got my friend Bruce. Bruce hangs with me in my cubicle. Um, yes, Dave. Shark. shark on Chris's head. <laughs> this is shark. Shark in the pond. It's very good. Um, I love sharks. Sharks are amazing. That's from Jaws, dude. Jaws. Yes. Okay. Yes, I know. It's, I know it's from Jaws. No, Alex is looking. Oh, at Alex. Oh, okay. Alex is looking at me like I got two heads. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, Dave. <laughs> this hat rocks again. Shout out to Trish and Mike. Uh, yes, I am the land shark. I am the street shark. Um, I love street sharks. By the way, that was one of my favorite things ever. Um, coffee time. Yes. Yes, Josh. Uh, so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a, a, a false advertisement. I'm more of a, a tea person than coffee. Um, not to say I nothing I have nothing against coffee. I'm just more of a tea person. Yes, Aaron, sharks are freaking laser bees on top of their heads. Uh, cool. Well, I think uh, thank you everyone for coming in. We're just gonna start in a couple of minutes. Um, Yes, tea time. Yeah, we're having a Wonderland tea party. Uh, actually, that'd be really cool. Uh, if you guys want to have like a virtual Wonderland tea party, let let, let us know. That'd be really cool. We could get get Ralph and Raven and Dan Leister, uh, Nei. We could get all those peeps back. Uh, that'd be cool. Um, I know uh, before Corona hit, there's always a handful of Wonderland uh, Wonderland themed tea parties around uh, in the area and actually uh shout out to my old stopping grounds in in dc oh god i don't remember the name of the bar or oh god um but there's a wonderland alice in wonderland themed bar in dc uh i want to say it's like near i want to say it's like near chinatown or maybe no maybe it's near dupont circle yeah, it's near DuPont Circle. I, w I was there for a birthday party. That place rocks. So if you love Alice in Wonderland, you should go. What's up, Michael? Um, hot chocolate. Yes. Go, Robert. Uh, Wonderland Mountain Dew Party? Sure. Why not, Mike? Uh, yes. Virtual Wonderland Tea Party would be great. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, we need all the Mad Hatter hats. It's wonderful. Uh, cool. So I think, I think we're gonna we're gonna be starting soon. Um, what's up, Ray? How's it going? Um, I hope everyone got their cup of tea, coffee, hot chocolate. Pick your poison. Doesn't matter. Oh, cool. So there's one in San Diego. Uh, in the convention center. Cool. That's great. What's up, Carl? Good afternoon. Good morning. I don't know if 
it might be morning for you guys on the West Coast, or maybe you're reporting in from across the pond in Europe. Uh, it might be good evening. All right, uh, Chuck, bottled water is never boring. You got to stay hydrated. Got to get the H2O. What's up, Jason? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so it's 1 o'clock. I like to start on time. So uh, I have some great announcements. So thank you all, everyone, for chilling, coming by. Uh, this is just like a really informal, informational um, live stream just to tell you about some really cool stuff that's coming um, out like in the next two weeks, three weeks. Uh, so first of all, most importantly, um, the kind of this, the tagline for this uh, Coffee with Chris uh, session is canvassing the scene. So, uh, some of you might have already seen it cause it's been live this morning. Um, uh, so we are, we are doing custom art canvas prints. Um, and we're doing it for a limited amount of time. Uh, basically the cutoff point is this Monday. Uh, so if there's any images that you want desperately on a really awesome 20 by 30, uh, art canvas, uh, now's the time to get it because once Monday rolls around, either, uh, the cutoff period happens, or if we sell out, um, they're going to be going to the vault. I don't know when we're going to be doing uh, custom canvas art prints again. Uh, so if you want some really, really cool gallery style artwork, hanging on your wall. Uh, maybe you like Sun Kumanaki's work, maybe like Paul Green's work, Jamie Tyndall, any of those, any of those is free game. Um, so I'm gonna drop in the comment section, uh, those links right now. So there's two different types. So uh, they're both 20 by 30 inches. So they're pretty huge. They take up a good amount of space on your wall. Um, okay, we got some new people. What's up, Nick? What's up, Roger? Uh, uh, Dave, that might be it. That sounds very familiar. What's up, Heather? What's up, Chuck? What's up, Robert? Uh, yeah, Jeannie, uh, do you, um, for the art prints? No, actually, uh, this is on the web store right now. So I'm going to drop in those links. So this is the first, uh, uh, 20 by 30 art print. This is the regular. So anything that's a regular image, like a convention exclusive, or maybe you, you like a certain cover from an issue, like covers A through D. Uh, basically anything that's not uh, a Z-rated cover. So that's $140. So here's the link to that. Then if you want something, you, you want a Z-rated cover image, uh, that's $200. It's the same price points for the other art canvases that are currently on sale that are not custom. Um, so that's 200 and here's a link to the web store for that. Um, and on the web store, we're still selling the original run of our canvas products. Um, I'm going to drop a link for that as well. And I just want to show, Oh, Hey, something's wrong. Okay. Hold on. I don't think that link posted. So let me try that again. Uh, here we go. Okay. Maybe that'll work now. Okay, there we go. Now it works. Okay, and this this link I'm dropping right here. This is a general link to our web store uh, for any our canvas related product. Now I just want to show you guys. Um, we were talked about this earlier uh, during virtual con, uh, but we didn't have any of the newer stuff come in yet. But um, this is this came in maybe like two days ago. Um, so this is a Jay and a Cleto, uh, canvas art print. I believe it's a Grim Tales of Terror volume four issue one cover D. Um, so all nice wrapped, uh, again, it has all the amazing rigging on the back. So you can hang on your wall really easily. And I, I gotta say like these turned out way, way better than I, I, I could ever imagine. Like these look so cool. So dope. Um, hell yeah, Jeannie. That's right. So, uh, yeah, you can, so if you wanted, if you want that Emerald City, uh, cosplay cover by Sun, or maybe you like Paul Green's, uh, uh, Star Wars, what, any, any of his Star Wars cosplay covers, um, you can hit, hit those links again, 140 for the regular 200 for the Z rated. 
uh, and you get like these super cool, high quality Cam's art prints. I'm just blown away. Like I, I, I got, I had to show off this one because I love Jane and Cleta's artwork, and Karis, Karis is really cool. Um, so that's a sample. Um, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit sad because it hasn't come in today. It might come in maybe later today or tomorrow morning. Um, but I did order some art canvas uh, prints uh, based on some May the 4th live stream stuff. Oh, you guys are going to lose your minds. It looks really cool. Uh, yes, Rob Schiff, if you want that Gretel's Lucky Charm as a custom 20 by 30, you can do it. Um, the only thing, the only thing we ask is when you uh, hop onto those uh, web store links that I just po uh, posted. Uh, I'll post them again later uh, as a recap. Uh, you can, uh, when you're in checkout in the notes section, just write down the exact comic code. So I don't recall the Gretel's Lucky Charms cover at the moment. I'm sorry. I'm being. Um, I'm. There's a lot. There's a lot going on in my head right now. But if you want that image, uh, or you just want, if, if you're having trouble trying to figure out what's the comic code of the image, just email, email us at uh, uh, vcons. That's vcons at zenoscope.com, and uh, we'll track down uh, that particular comic code. If you just give us, a, even if you give us a description like Sun Kubadaki cosplay cover from Emerald City. Uh, we we know th what that comic code is. We'll hop into your order. We'll adjust your notes so we know the exact comic code. So when I put in the actual order, when producing them with our vendor, with our partner, uh, we know exactly what image it's coming out. So yes, long so long story short, that Lucky Charms artwork is fair game. So is Sun's Emerald City book. Um, Car Grill, is there anywhere to go to see all the covers ever done? Uh, whew, that's uh that's a lot um i guess like the safest it's not the most ideal i guess the safest bet um you could go onto our web store uh go into under collections and go to like collectible covers um although the caveat with that that, that only shows uh cover images that we have in stock or are available so you have until monday it's only thursday right now um and uh, or even even you know what just go to google just go to google type in like zetascope covers uh you're gonna get a lot of them and uh feel free to scroll through uh shoot shoot me an email you can shoot me directly an email at chris.sampson at zetascope.com i'm gonna write that in the comments section or vcons at zetascope.com um so either one of those emails will work um, so uh, there isn't, unfortunately, like a master list of all the covers ever done. Um, I mean, obviously we, we have art drives in our internal, um, in our internal systems, uh, but we don't have anything published like on the web store or on our blog for all those covers. So not the most ideal situation, but, uh, if there's any covers that you're remotely interested in. Uh, chances are we can track it. We can track it down. We'll find it for you. So you still have plenty of time. It's only Thursday, so Monday uh, when we close the deal, uh, there's still plenty of time. Um, we gave you basically over the weekend to uh, think about it. So, uh, Grim Fairy Tales by Zedek of Comics. This is your Facebook page. It has most, not all covers. Well, thank you, Chuck. Thanks for plugging that. Uh, Genie. Okay, great. You're gonna put put it above your Z the Nintendo system and game collection in front of the room. Yes, yes, GD, that's amazing. Uh, I'm very excited about that. <clears throat> Comic Collector Live is a good site for getting some of the covers you can filter by publisher. Awesome, Robert. Great, great plug. Okay, so that's a uh, that's the the bit I had for um, our canvas prints. So I know a couple of you have already ordered i was talking to my boy robert i'm not sure if you're here in the chat robert uh but he was ordering uh one of the sun kumanaki emerald city cosplay covers earlier this morning so um uh, hope you enjoy that i hope everyone here who decides to purchase one enjoys their too because they're really high quality i'm i'm so tempted to grab one myself uh i would love to get uh 
any like Paul Green's cosplay covers, really. Um, so awesome. Um, Raven, what's up, Raven? Raven Gregory, everyone say hi to Raven. Um, Zetascope Rider Extraordinaire accolades on like Fly and The Waking and Wonderland. And uh, if you were at VirtuCon, uh, he was one of our special guests on our Wonderland panel and our Rider's round, round Table. So Raven, Thank you again for all that you do. Thank you for stopping by. You're the best. Um, so, okay, so Trish, uh, I know we've always, uh, we've we've toyed with the idea of doing like t-shirts and stuff. Um, t-shirts, kind of like, like our hoodies. Well, I'll talk about more about hoodies too. T-shirts are a little bit difficult from a, like an industry standpoint. Um, Cause like, there's always like a bell curve of like, of, of judging quantities that we need to make. So sometimes um, we, we don't want to print too much or too little of a size. Uh, and some, a lot of times when we work with vendors, they require like minimum order quantities. So uh, Mr. Jeff in the background. That's right, Mr. Jeff. <laughs> so obviously like, I, I mean, I, we would love to do more t-shirts. I would, I would personally love to do more t-shirts. Um, Maybe this is a way where we could, we could partner a vendor to do print um, print to order. So we order the exactly the amount of quantities we need. So that's something I'll take a look, look into because um, we, we've we done t uh, certain types of t-shirts. Like I know we used to have um, – oh, I think I put it away right now. Um, but I think when Volume 2, Issue 1 of Grim Fairy Tales first came out, we had – that David Finch werewolf Red Riding Hood cover at, on as a t-shirt. Um, mm -hmm. And then obviously during the VIP event, um, where, like the staff wears like these really cool VIP t-shirts. Uh, but I mean, never say never Trish. So I will definitely try to see if we could do t-shirts in the future. Cause I think this would be really cool. And we have so much amazing artwork. Um, I think it will be a match made in heaven. Uh, okay. So uh, let's see. Uh, lots of love for Raven right now. Hell yeah. Um, cool, cool, cool. Uh, you would like one of those Cetoscope staff shirts. Uh, okay. Um, I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Again, no promises, but I mean, I know we do have, um, I know, I know we, I know, I'll, I'll get back to you all on that because I, I, I personally would love four shirts. Um, Yes, Raven. Yes, yeah. All sizes fit. We'll get. We'll, we'll go from small to like three XL. We want. We want everyone to wear our swag. Okay, so that's it for art canvases. So I have a couple of other announcements. Um, so uh, we're gonna be doing a another VirtuCon in May. Um, so it's gonna be three days instead of four days. Um, so the tentative dates for the next VirtuCon. It's going to be May 21st to 23rd, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Is that weekend leading to Memorial Day weekend, um, which is uh, Monday, May 25th. And uh, May typically is a huge and stack convention for our trade show schedule. So this year, if everything was normal, <laughs> we, would, we would have done Awesome Con, East Coast Comic Con, Motor City Comic Con, Three Rivers Comic Con, which is uh, a show in Pittsburgh. Um, obviously, I mean, all of those shows are canceled right now. That really sucks. But uh, we love doing virtual cons, so we're going to do another one in May. So we're still in the planning stages. We're still do working hard. We're contacting guests. We're uh, figuring out some really cool ideas. But uh, mark your calendars. May 21st to 23rd is going to be our next virtual con. Um, also in May, we're also going to be doing – um some really cool smaller live streams like obviously we, we would like to do more coffee with chris or we'll, we'll we'll grab jason we'll grab dave um and we we plan to do um a second watch party um actually let me see um lots of love yeah grip tells of terror is a freaking beast beast yes i'm very excited uh jimmy that uh our Kickstarter was successful, so we'll get uh, Volume One reprinted. 
and volume four as a pre-order so thank you everyone who's here who backed it thank you for, thank you for all of our kickstarter backers uh, i love tales, tales of terror it's like one of my favorite series that we do new characters on the horizon um hmm that is a dave question uh i will ask dave <laughs> um but i mean we're trying we're trying hard to get out new new books i mean obviously uh it's really hard right now because uh diamond and transcon are both closed down uh there's chatter they may open like until not until like third weekend of may so fingers crossed uh but uh we're trying to work hard get get those new comics out to everyone uh and again we want to support or we want to thank everyone for your support uh let's see yes uh we we know that even despite coronavirus going on there are still people who are working uh whether at home or if since you're essential maybe you're working out of, out of the house uh remember to stay safe out there i'm wearing my face mask i have it i have it all times all in the office so practice safe social distancing um yeah and that's, that's one of the reasons why um uh we're doing it thursday through saturday just to account for those people who can't make it on a weekday and don't want to miss out um so we shortened it we took we, we nixed wednesday because um four days is a marathon we love doing it but like i remember like like uh like die and and jason and dave you know they once we got to day four we were we were starting to feel the hurt it feels like a real con um so so we're, we're gonna, for the next few months uh we're gonna be doing three-day cons so thursday friday saturday is gonna be the general schedule um so well more questions yes destiny um thank you for printing those puzzles um don't forget to email vip at zeniscope.com if you're a vip um if you pre-order those puzzles uh you get vip points which is really cool um i will talk to uh i'll talk to jennifer because i know that's through a different company that's through jasco games um so we we basically did a partnership where uh, we gave them the license to our artwork. So I will make a memo. I will talk to Jennifer, um, who's our licensing coordinator, and I will ask and inquire uh, when those Jasco puzzles will be ready to ship. Um, John Potton, uh, I'm glad you asked that. Um, I will get to that, hold that question, hold that thought. Um, we do have some new exclusives. Um, well, actually, a lot of really cool products in general for May the 4th. Um, Eduardo, okay. Um, I will shoot me an email at chris.sampson at zeniscope.com. Uh, I, know, I know all Kickstarter mm -hmm. fulfillments have finished, so they're probably in transit. Um, so if uh, I know we're also built, we're doing follow-ups on any orders that were damaged or missing. So shoot, shoot me an email. I'll put my email in the chat section. Let me know if you have any questions, or just just in general. Let me know if you have any questions. Shoot me an email. Um, and what I I promise you will get your Kickstarter stuff. It might be in trans right now, uh, but shoot me an email so I don't forget, and we will follow up on you. Uh, Yes, Aaron. So Diamond is, they gave a date on May 20th. Um, so fingers crossed. Um, that'd be great. Uh, uh, Raven asks, can we get Dave Franchini in a wet t-shirt contest? <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, <laughs> we, nothing's, uh, you know, we are, we are a company of the people. So if people want that, we'll, we'll give it to them. Uh, I'm sorry. About a penguin suit. Oh, a penguin! Yes. Well, and I'm glad you mentioned that. So we'll get Jason back in penguin suit as well. No, Dave in penguin suit. Oh, David. I'm sorry, Dave in the penguin suit. Um. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Yes. Yeah, so we need more hats. Thank you, Trish. Uh. Yeah. The puzzles are really awesome. Okay. Great. Jeannie, email me. Um. Uh. You can do both. You know what? Just do both. Uh. Vcons will go to die. So just in case, go uh, uh, type in Vcons and VIP at Zenoscope so we can double our bases. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, Jennifer. Uh, oh, actually, Book Club Season 2. The 
I know a lot of those orders were delayed. Um, we literally just came in today. Uh, we had a restock of all the goodies, all the metal goodies, like the bookmarks and metal cards. So I know uh, Stu and Jeff, the boys in the back, they are working hard. So those are those will call, go out. So um, uh, yeah, so the the freebies came in today. They were delayed, um, but they're here. So they're gonna be filling the book club. There's another reorder coming in. So all those book club season two uh, care packages will go out. Uh, let's see. Yes, Aaron. Yes. I love my shark hat. I love sharks. Uh, I might have to bring it in because like I, at home, I have like a, a shark kigurumi or onesie. It's awesome. Even though it's still getting warmer, I'm, I'm going to wear it because it's awesome and you guys deserve it. Uh, yep. Thank you, Jason. Yep. All right, so Eduardo, that's a good question. So the main the main difference between season one and season two of Book Club, um, there's one of them is more my cosmetic. Uh, so season two, the sticker board is different, and the set of stickers are different. Uh, and the larger the larger difference is the end of the year collectible. Um, for book club season two is different from season one so i don't have the image here uh in my deck because season one is technically sold out right now but it's still not too late to see on it for season two um if you collect eight book club certified trades throughout the rest of the year so that's eight on top of the four initial four mm -hmm. you got as part of your uh package you get all 12 stickers you fill out your sticker board sticker calendar shoot an image or just shoot us an email at VIP or just at info.zenoscope.com or shoot me directly an email because I've managed all a lot of the back end for book club. Um, so if you finish all 12 eligible um, book club purchases, uh, you got this really awesome Ula Moss um, collectible. This is just for book club. Um, so this is colored and uh, drawn by Ula Moss. She's awesome. Um, uh, that's, a, that's a nice little nod. You can see Bell is reading um, an issue of Bell Beast Hunter, but it's hide, it's a, a being hidden in the Book of Fables. So it's really cool. I really love that cover. Uh, so that's the main difference. Um, if you need me to do an actual walkthrough of how the book club works, shoot me an email. Uh, my email is down here somewhere. Or I'll post it again right here. Zenitskull.com. So chris.sanchezenitskull.com. That's my direct email. Uh, and I could walk you through uh, in an individual email about book club. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chuck, I, okay. Hmm. All right. Let, I, I, would, I, need, I would need to do a little bit of magic right now. But just for you, I'm going to tease something, okay? So uh, you got you to keep it on the down low. Because people are going to go, we're going to lose their minds over this. So let me do some magic closer to the end or when we when I talk about May the 4th. And I'll, sh I'll, I'll give you everyone an exclusive teaser. Um, okay, great. So let me, okay, Sandy, I'm going to backtrack. I'm sorry. So again, May Virtual Con. It's going to happen May 21st to 23rd, Thursday through Saturday. Um, now, we're also planning to do, um, besides future iterations of Coffee with Chris, um or smaller events with maybe with jason with dave with joe uh we are doing our second watch party so that's right so i actually have a graphic right here uh so shout outs to chris and ashley for um whipping this up today so we're doing a um a watch party for comic company so if you don't know what comic company is um about uh eight years ago uh in 2012 uh we produced a web series called comic company uh i think it's about 13 episodes at least at least it's definitely over 10 episodes um and each of them was like f like three four minute skits um it's very much in the style or tone of the office uh the uk or the, the us version whichever one's your cup of tea uh or parks and rec and it's a uh, I guess like a mockumentary slash web series about the bizarre surreal happenings that occur when you work for a comic book publisher like us. Um, and it's really cool. So it has, it has a, a bunch of staff, 
uh, starring, uh, like Dave's in there, Ralph's in there, our uh, one of our art uh, graphics te graphics team, our art director Chris Cote is there. So it's gonna be really cool. Um, yeah, so that's our second watch party. So that's gonna happen on May fifteenth, which is Friday. Yes, Friday. Uh, at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's going to be um, streaming uh, on these platforms, so Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. We're streaming to those platforms right now, so it's really cool. So same bad time, same bad channel. Uh, yes! Oh, that's right. Yeah, Chuck. Hell yeah. Um, Michael, that is awesome. I, I need to, yeah. That's great. Uh, I need my virtual self needs a shark hat, and I need a shark hat. Um, you know, if Animal Crossing has a shark hat, I need it too. Uh, let's see. Chuck Hart, Ralph's Robot was the main star. Yes. Okay. And uh, Josh. Um, yeah. So tune in. Tune in on May fifteenth for our comic company watch party. Uh, May fifteenth, three p.m. Uh, we're also gonna grab some guests. So similar to the Robin Hood watch party, um, we're gonna be uh watching uh do, we're doing a marathon of all the episodes so the episodes are like again like three to four minutes long and there's like 13 of them so i would say the entire marathon won't be more like 30 or 40 minutes so uh, i'll be, be cool so we'll watch it together and then we'll bring on some special guests who are involved in the project and uh we'll have a good time so watch parties uh definitely love those um definitely want to do more of them so uh so this this uh this is Ralph's baby. So this is Ralph's idea. So shout out to Ralph Tedesco. Um, I'm really excited for it. Now, uh, we're gonna go on to some May the Fourth announcements. So May the Fourth is this Monday. It's a big day. Actually, the weekend leading up to it, it's a big weekend. Um, it's that weekend was supposed to be. Uh, awesome con originally. Um, I think that Saturday was also supposed to be free comic book day, and obviously it's May the 4th. Um, so we are going all out. Uh, so just a reminder our May the 4th live stream is going to be Monday, uh, starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna be as long as a virtual con, so I would say it will probably run maybe like three absolute max three and a half hours um but there's a lot of really cool stuff a lot of really cool new products uh going down um and i want to give a special exclusive uh reveal um just for uh, just for you all uh we have a special guest secured for may the 4th um so uh, i'm gonna reveal it right now bam right there that's right, Ula Moss, um, Ula Moss, uh, amazing illustrator and colorist uh, from across the pond. She currently lives in the UK. She is coming on uh, at 1 p.m. to 1.30 to do a special Q&A session with us. Ula Moss is amazing. Um, she's been a long time colorist with us. And here's uh, Ula Moss right there. And she um, she's worked with major rock stars uh just in comics and zenith in particular so like jamie tindall e bass paul green mike the baffle she's worked with them all uh boom. and uh yes brian we love giving free comic books so we're gonna give free free comics uh we love doing that um yeah so ulamas she's amazing she is feeling better so i was talking to her and uh she's a very she's very excited to be part of our live stream and um so we're gonna be doing a special interview for about 30 minutes so 15 minutes interviewing her and then we'll open up the rest of the time to q a so um she's great so i hope you tune in and if you miss it um well i'll do afterwards is i'll cut and paste the video and then post it as a separate video so if you want to just check out just ulamas's video after uh, the live stream's over. You can check it out. So, uh, that's the first big piece of news. Um, uh, second piece of news. I know we teased it um, during VirtualCon. Um, I think I remember it was me or Joe. My all 
it's it's all blurring together. Um, but I know I know at least Trish and Mike in the chat they were asking what what cool stuff they can get uh, if they show off their awesome Zetascope 15th anniversary hoodie. Um, let me stand up for a second. Like these hoodies are so dope. I love them. They're super comfy um, and uh, made of really great material, slightly waterproof. Like the stitching is amazing. Like this has become my new standard go-to hoodie. Um, like it's <clears throat> awesome. Um, so they're available on the store uh, right now. Uh, let me actually post that in the chat. Uh, let's see. Did I lose it? Yeah, I think I lost it. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to do some troubleshooting. Um, but so if you already ordered your hoodies um, and they're on the on route um, on May the 4th itself, if you take a photo and post it on social media um, of you wearing and showing off your awesome Zenoscope hoodies, showing off your threads, showing off your fandom for Zenoscope, uh, and you're going to use this specific hashtag. So let me let me post that here. So yeah. So if you use the hashtag Zen Hoodie XV, so Roman numerals for 15, because it's our 15 year anniversary. If you use that hashtag and you post yourself um, wearing that hoodie on social media, and make sure to tag us, uh, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, or uh, Twitter, just tag us at, at Zenoscope. Um, and just to make sure we don't miss it. Feel free to take a screen cap um, and email that to my personal email. That's chris.samson at zenscope.com. So I make sure I don't miss it. Um, if you get that or if you post um, post yourself in the hoodie on social media um, or if you buy a hoodie on May the 4th or during the May the 4th live stream, you will get this awesome mini art print for free uh so this mini art print is uh grim fairy tales 2016 or i'm sorry yeah grim fairy tales 2016 annual cover e um amazing cosplay cover by uh paul green uh robin um playing one of the most notorious or cosplay is one of the most notorious cis lords of all time um i know this is this has long been sold out as an exclusive this has been offered before as an 11 by 17 art print. It has never been offered before as a mini art print. So, again, if you uh, post a photo of yourself in your hoodie, or if you buy, uh, if you buy it on May the 4th uh, or during the live stream, you will get that awesome mini art print. Um, so yeah. Um, so if you're worried about not getting them on time, I will give you a grace period, um, like 48 hours after uh, after uh, May the 4th. So if you purchase your hoodie and you're not sure it's going to come in yet uh, on time, either before or on May the 4th, don't worry. I'll give you a 48-hour grace period. So you can still post on social media. You still use that ugh, still use that hashtag so you can still get that mini art print. And again, if you buy – uh, the the hoodie on May the fourth uh, during Virtual Con, uh, you will get that mini art print as well. Uh, okay. Oh, Amy, I'm sorry. There's a mix up in your order. Uh, shoot us an email info at zetoscope.com, and then Die or Jennifer, they will um, get on. Chuck, my main man, Chuck, I can always rely on you. Thank you for dropping that link into the comment section. Um, great. So that's uh, that's the hoodie. Um, uh, that's our cool special for May the 4th regarding hoodies. Now, if you bear with me, I know Chuck. Chuck to ask, so I need to pull that image. Um, bear with me. Let's see. Um, how's everyone doing? I'm just vamping right now. I'm vamping and stalling for time as I'm trying to find this one image. Um, but I hope everyone's doing okay. I I, I know. I know certain states are, 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 it's pretty rough out there. So I hope everyone's practice, practicing safe social distancing, staying safe, staying healthy, staying hydrated. Uh, oof, okay. Uh, I know this image is here somewhere. Um, but yeah. 
One second. One second. Oh, and um, stick around. Stick around. Um, after I tease this one final thing about May the 4th, we're going to be opening up to trivia. Trivia is awesome. I love doing trivia. So we're going to have... Oh, okay. I'm not able to find it right now. Okay, you know what? Don't worry. All right, I'm going to do a, another fix. So stay, bear with me. Um, I'm literally going to Photoshop right now. And I'm going to try to find this image. And... Uh, yeah, let's see. Chuck, your state's open up tomorrow. Um, all right, cool. But uh, stay safe out there. Even though the state's opening up, I know certain states are opening up, still doesn't mean... Um, you know, you're 100 percent in the clear. So, I want everyone to practice safe social distancing, wear a mask, uh, stay safe. Um, you know, I the worst thing you want to happen is you got reinfected with the COVID nineteen. Uh, thank you, Tim. What's up, Jeremy? Uh, yes, Larry. We are sharks right now. I'm a street shark. I thank you. Shout outs again to Trish and Mike for giving me, bequeathing me this amazing shark hat. Uh, Michael. Um, all right, Michael, I will handle that inquiry. I know I have one other email from you. Um, so I will, I will try to help you out. Uh, Dave, we're opening 50% for 22 counties. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, Dave, uh, stay safe. Really stay safe out there. Uh, okay. All right. I'm almost there. Uh, I'm almost there. All right. I need to crop this. I'm doing this in Photoshop right now. Okay. All right. Um, so actually, I think Mike, Mike, um, I know Dave posted this teaser for you. Uh, in Facebook, so I was trying to find that same image uh, that was uh, courtesy of Dave. So I am going to cut out that same image and uh, save it, export it, uh, and I'm going to show everyone a very, very small teaser of what's coming out for May the Fourth. Um, just a small, just a small taste because we have. Crazy amounts of new products um, coming out. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be wild. Uh, I'm very excited. All right, so what? What? Almost done stalling. Almost done stalling. I am uploading this right now. Okay. All right, and let me take off this banner. Let's put, switch to that. There you go. Okay. Uh, let's see. More to come. Um, here we go. Okay, ready? I'm only gonna I'm only gonna show this for like five seconds. Five Mississippi's. After that, I'm ta I'm taking it off because uh, we don't wanna we don't wanna bear the lead too much. Okay. So again, very special exclusive reveal for our May the Fourth um, cosplay cover because we we did, we typically do one every year. Um, last year was a cosplay cover, like an Imperial Guard, um, or Emperor's Guard cosplay cover. Really cool, uh, again, by Paul Green. So, all right, ready. Um, okay, so keep your, guy, keep your eyes glued to the screen. I'm only doing this for five seconds. Ready? And go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, and we're gone. Wasn't that awesome? Well, how's that for a teaser? Right, Chuck? Oh, Chuck, actually, so that that, that cover was a different one. Uh, that was from 2018. It was also drawn and colored by Ulamas. It's a really awesome Star Wars cover um, or cosplay cover. Uh, that was from our 2018, oh gosh, our 2018 cosplay <laughs> pinup special that came out in October. 
Um, so that was one of her covers. I, I, I completely forgot about it until like two days ago. I was like, Oh, that's so cool. So I had to, so I, I, I requested that be our advertisement image. Um, not just cause that, that, that piece is amazing, but, uh, what's up Stu? Thank you. Um, but because that image, actually I'll show it right here again. Um, that image, actually, let me, yeah. Well, this image right here. Uh, it's of Masumi. Masumi is a really awesome character. I really wish we could do more with her. Um, but yeah. Uh, yes, Aaron. Yes, that it is a sun cover. Uh, that's only a tiny, tiny bit uh, of, of the cover too. That's, that, that's, all I, that's why I was cropping it out. But the full image, so dope. Um, I, uh, I think it was March. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like beginning of March. Uh, I first saw that cover and it blew my mind. It well, full cover. It it's so good. Um, so that was a special teaser for everyone. Um, very cool. So I hope everyone's excited, and uh, that will be available on May fourth. So that's another reason why I should tune in to the live stream. Uh, okay, so we're almost at the end. Uh, this this went a little bit longer, but I don't care. This is Coffee with Chris. I'm here to hang out with you guys. Um, last but not least, uh, I like to end things off with trivia. So I have five trivia questions, five awesome prizes. Um, and uh, we're going to be... Yes. <laughs> um, honestly, like I, I, as much as I want that cover... I I rather have it as like a twenty by thirty art canvas because that is dope. Um, yeah, and uh, and also like uh, the our Dar our Darth Maul cosplay cover. That's also one I want on a twenty by thirty canvas. Like I, Darth Maul is like my favorite Star Wars character or villain ever. Um, <laughs> and I would love like Paul Green's rendition of, of of that cosplay was so good. So that's those two are ones that I wish I could have as a 20 by 30. Uh, yeah, Sun's killing it. Sun is awesome. Um, that's just a, a small taste of what's coming on. Uh, we have so many cool products coming on for May the 4th. And, uh, you know, to find out, the only way you got to find out is you got to tune in, okay? Um, great. Uh, yes, we will be selling the May the 4th cover. Uh, and we will... Um, also be selling like, uh, I guess I don't want to spoil too much. I guess uh, I would say different iterations. Um, plus we have so, we, over the years, we have so many cosplay covers, uh, appropriate for May the 4th, uh, like Paul green, Paul green alone has done like, I, I don't know, geez, at least like 10. Um, um, actually if you, if you buy or if you acquired, uh, through one of our trivia raffles or or bought it through our trade shows or through a web store or even VirtuCon. Um, the 2020 cosplay calendar by Paul Green, at least half, I want to say actually a little bit more than half, are all Star Wars covers, uh, cosplay covers. So um, really cool. Uh, so we're bringing some really cool stuff uh, out of the vault and some brand new products never seen before. Uh, quite appropriate for May the 4th because it's a celebration. I'm not just, I'm not just, that but just comics and just celebrating you guys just celebrating all your awesome fans out there um so yeah just check in check in on um noon noon on monday uh yes we will always do trivia we will always do trivia actually i trivia is one of the things i love doing uh um uh overall and uh speaking of which um um we're gonna do some trivia right now okay uh let's see couple last minute questions before we go into trivia uh let's see yes um they will also appear eventually on our web store as well uh, amy um so based on so in terms of general guidelines for for art submissions um based on the amount of volume or amount of amount of requests uh, and submissions we get, um, if we show interest and there's availability in a publishing schedule, 
our 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 submissions team will reach out to you directly. Um, so it's not the most ideal answer, but it could take a while, uh, especially now that we're a skeleton crew. I know like the art team's doing like they're they're spinning a lot more plates than usual. So submissions, the submissions process is gonna be slower than usual. Um, but uh, shoot me an email uh, if you want to follow up directly, and we'll uh, we can talk shop about it. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, okay, Amy uh, as well. Uh, on top of that, shoot an email at info at zenoscope dot com. Uh, Di and Jennifer will get on the case. Uh, if there's anything missing with your order, if there's any problems in general, uh, just let us know. Okay, we're going to do some trivia now. Okay. Um, so our first question, the prize for it is uh, our Mini Mates 4-pack. So this is so like these are really cool little figurines. Um, there's four of them. So there's uh, Belinda, Nissa, Red Riding Hood, and Sila. Um, and I, I found some leftover, uh, in inventory. So I was like, uh, I, I know I raffled one of these off during trivia, during virtual con. So we're going to raffle off another one. So again, same rules as always. Uh, let me refresh the comments. Uh, so, oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to say the question. Uh, I'm going to give uh, people some time to submit their answers. So uh, uh, where I'm streaming from, even though we're streaming to three different platforms, I see the comments from everywhere. So it's, it's all uniform. So uh, I will look out for the first person to give the correct answer. Uh, and uh, if you are the one or the lucky person, uh, we'll ship this out to you. All right. So... Uh, all right, so this is a question about Gretel, uh, one of my favorite or new favorite characters of ours. All right, so what horror, or I'm sorry, what famous horror franchise has Ben Mieres, the writer of Gretel, worked on previously? Again, what famous horror film franchise has Ben Mieres, the writer of Gretel, worked on previously? So we're looking for a horror title. I know my boy Michael, my boy Michael in the chat, he's <clears throat> he's a savant when it comes to horror. So he might get this, but what horror franchise or IP uh, has Ben Mieres, the, the writer of Gretel, worked on before? So I hope this isn't too hard of a question. Uh, it is not The Mummy, uh, John Hazel, but that's a good question. Oh, it is not Nightmare on Elm Street. It is not Evil Dead. Oh, this might be this might be too hard of a question. Um, it is not Friday the Thirteenth. Um, actually, if you have the Gretel trade on you, the answer is actually on the back. Uh, it is not Friday the Thirteenth. It is not Reanimator. Although great film, these are all great films. I'm actually a huge horror nerd, so this is awesome. It is not Dracula. Oh, uh, Brandon, what series, what series does that belong to? You're very close. You're very warm. Jeremy Pryor. Hell yeah. All right, Jeremy, congrats. You got, you got it. Uh, Brandon, since you were, you were, you were half on the nose, you were half correct. You know what? I will also, uh, give you. Oh, one of these mini mates too. So congrats, congrats to both of you. All right. So I'm gonna let me write that down. Winners, Brandon. I better. And shout out to Jeremy for getting it right. It is Hellraiser. Uh, so specifically, Ben Maris worked with Clive Barker on the Hellraiser comic books, and uh, that was one of his big claim to fame. Before he started working with us, started writing Gretel. Uh, started writing. Um, Robin Hood Vigilante. So I love Ben. Ben's awesome. Uh, we got to meet during Emerald City Comic Con in 2019. And I uh, also saw him during um, 
San Diego. So he's a great guy. Um, he's hilarious. Like he's very, <clears throat> he's very, very opinionated when it comes to movies. So it's a lot of fun talking with him. All right, cool. So that's question number one. So I, I have Brandon, I have Jeremy, I have your names down. Um, so congrats for winning. Congrats on winning these. All right. Question number two. Uh, here we go. All right. So I think this is an easy one. Uh, I mean, but sometimes sometimes I think I, I come up with questions that are much harder than I think they are. So we'll see what happens. Um, okay. Question number two. Um, this oh the prize for that. I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind. Um, okay. So you get the prize for this is a choice. Oh, here we go. It's a choice of one of two folios. Again, really cool. Um, really cool folio has madness in the top. Has really cool artwork on the inside. Really nice and secure. Keeps all your comics safe, uh, especially if you're gonna uh, grab some new stuff for May the Fourth. You want to protect it, right? So grab one of these. So. Uh, the, the winner of this question, you get to choose one of two. Uh, so if you're the winner, uh, put in the comments section below whether you want the Van Helsing or the Grim Fairy Tales. Uh, again, amazing artwork by Jay Anacleto. Uh, I believe that's uh, Grim Fairy Tales 20 uh, cover C. So this is question number two. And... Uh, so here we oh okay I'll actually uh yes Rob welcome just just in time for trivia uh Rob uh if you want uh I will do a recap after trivia so stick around and I'll, I'll fill you in on um what uh what what we talked about Eduardo yes yes I completely agree um I know I know right now our partner vendor that we work with portfolios they've been affected by COVID-19 so they're, they're not moving anything they're not shipping anything so never say never but I would love new folios especially like Robin Hood uh Kara's even like Cindy serial killer that'd be dope um all right anyway here's question number two sorry about that all right who is the artist that worked on the cover of Little Mermaid, the trade. Again, who is the artist that worked on the cover of the Little Mermaid trade paperback? Uh, and you know what? Um, I'm gonna. I'm, this is going off the cuff. If you can name the colorist of this cover, I'll give. I'll get. I'll give you both. Great. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So we have Jason Slova. Uh, Jason. Uh, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. There's so many comments. Um, Joshua Wozniak, you are the first one um, to get um, the folio. Uh, now, yes. Robert Hopkins. Yes. Okay. Congrats. Okay. Great. So one second. Joshua Wozniak, uh, you won uh, one of the folios. So let me know which one you want. Congrats, Wozniak. And, jeez, uh, Robert Hopkins, you're the first one to provide both the name of the artist and the colors, which is Ula Moss. Ula Moss is amazing. Again, she's coming uh, as our guest uh on oh my god on monday may the 4th from 1 to one thirty. so she did she does she did oh my god i cannot talk she did colors for this cover ulamas super talented so super excited to have her on so congrats robert hopkins you get both folios um and joshua let me know okay did you let me scroll down there's so many comments what hasn't she colored? That's a good question. She's colored like she's worked with all the big hitters like Chrome, um, Ebass, uh, Jamie Tyndall, Paul Green, 
Uh, I'm missing a few. Like she's, she's huge. She's awesome. So she's a rock star. Uh, Josh, thank you. You were, I, I have you down for the Van Helsing folio. Great. Um, okay. Awesome. So that's question number two. Let me put that away. Question number three. So I know this is a shout out to uh, a bunch of people who were talking in our uh, book club, uh, book club Facebook group. So if you're part of book club, either season one or season two, uh, you're also part of that exclusive Facebook group. And I know someone was ta was talking about how much they missed or wanted to play the Wonderland board game virtually. Um, I wish that that's something we could do too. Um, but for now, uh, we raffled one of these off during VirtuCon. I'm raffling off again for the correct answer for this question, question number three. This is our Wonderland board game exclusive. So this is Wonderland uh, issue two, uh, art by Ali Garza. Ali Garza is really talented. Um, this is a very old book. Uh, that board game was very old uh, as well. And uh, but we still have some of these really cool board game exclusives. So that is the uh, that is the prize for question number three. Um, okay. So question number three. Uh, this might be easy. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, Chuck Dixon, the writer of Robin Hood: The Curse and Van Helsing vs. the Werewolf, is a legendary figure in comics. What famous DC villain did he co-create? Again, Chuck Dixon, writer of Robin Hood the Curse and Van, Van Helsing vs. Werewolf, is a legendary figure in comics. What famous DC villain did he co-create? Oh, uh, uh, let's see. Edward, oh wait, hold on. Uh, ooh, oh my God, there's so many comments, Jesus. Uh, Robert Hopkins again with the win. Um, that's crazy. Okay. Uh, you know what? Um, Robert, I will also give you, uh, a, um, board exclusive, but Eduardo, um, uh, I'm going to give you one as well. Cause Robert already won a prize, I believe. No, wait. Yes. Okay. So Robert, I'm going to get you, I'm going to secure for you a one of exclusive. Um, but, uh, Eduardo, since you're the first unique, um, uh, correct answer, I'm going to give you one, a prize as well. Uh, the answer is Bane. Uh, Chuck Dixon co-created Bane. It was awesome. Uh, so winner number one, Robert Hopkins. Robert Hopkins, you are crazy fast on the draw. That's awesome. And winner number two, Eduardo Lopez. Congrats. Okay. All right. So that's question number three. So we will send out that awesome board game exclusive for you all. Uh, question number four. Um, okay, this one might, I think this one's definitely a little bit of a harder one. Um, you know what? I'm going to switch out. Okay. I'm going to actually switch around questions. Okay. Because um, I feel like this question is a little bit easier. Um, I'll save the hardest question for the most exciting prize of trivia. So, um, so the prize for this is again one of our awesome metal lunch boxes normally they retail in the web store for forty dollars uh there's three different images um this one's i have my desk is mystere done by jay Cleto. we also have hell child and Karas. uh it's, it's the same the Karas one is the same image as this so grim tales of terror volume four uh issue one cover d um, each of these metal blunch boxes also comes with, um, three metal cards. So I'm just going to show you all what are the three metal cards that come here. There we go. Right there. So the winner of this will get a metal lunch box of your choice. So if you win, uh, put in the comment section below, uh, which one you want. Mystere. Hell Child or Karis, okay? So, uh, I guess I don't have that copy of my tree. Oh, I do have that. Sweet. Hell yeah. Cool. All right. So, this is a shout out to Latoya Morgan. Uh, shout out to Robin Hood the Hunt. So, this is a question related to Robin Hood the Hunt. Um, 
In Robin Hood the Hunt, what is the name of the Supermax prison where the story takes place? Uh, again, in Robin Hood the Hunt, what is the name of the Supermax prison where the story takes place? Trish, uh, you know what? Since you sent me that hat, you know what? I'll secure one for you. Um, so uh, shoot me an email. So don't forget at chris.samson.com. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll hook you up because you gave me this amazing, amazing shark hat. Yes, I am. I am wearing a shark hat. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. We have an answer. Kyle, you are correct. It is the dungeon. That is right. Hell yeah, Kyle. Uh, actually, let me let me let me go to that page. I was just reading it earlier today. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, here's a really cool. This is like the first page, and uh, here we go. There it is. The dungeon. Processing center. Sorry, there's a little bit of glare, but Kyle, you are correct. Congratulations. So, Kyle, uh, let me know um, uh, which one you want. So, we have Karis, uh, Bastyr, and Hellchild uh, lunchboxes. So, you won one of them. Each of them includes a metal or three metal cards. So, you won. Just let me know which one you want. Uh, awesome. Hell yeah, that's right, Mystere. Um, someone after my own heart, um, because Mystere is on my business card. I love her character design. Cool. So we will we will secure that for you. Uh, okay. Now, this is the final question. I think personally, this might be the hardest question. Um, so, a most difficult question deserves a most amazing prize. So. That's this. That's right. The prize for this final question is this copy of Sun's cosplay cover, uh, Grim Fairy Tales 33F, if I remember correctly. So this is the final prize. Um, so it's bad and boarded. Amazing work by Sun Kumanaki, as always. And uh, this is the final prize uh, for today's trivia. All right, yes, Destiny. Um, Best of luck to everyone, because um, we we typically don't sell these unless it's at like a virtual con or a, a live stream. Um, so very hard to get. You can't normally get it on the web store. So uh, one lucky winner will get this. Uh, cool. All right. Do I have the trade here? Yes, I do have the trade here. Sweet. Okay, the final question. What Xenoscope artist is largely responsible for the design and the look of Frankenstein in Ben Helsing versus Frankenstein, the, the series of the trade? So basically, what artist is largely responsible for designing the look of Frankenstein in our Ben Helsing series? Pick me. <laughs> <laughs> Jason knows. I want the exclusive. Jason, <laughs> Jason wants the exclusive. Uh, it is not Leister. No. Nope. It is not Ebass. Um. Oh yeah, that that is a great. Okay, hell yeah. Uh, it is not Bernie. Oh, Timothy Chandler. With the from downtown, yes, that is right. Tilly, it is Jason Metcalf. Uh, Kyle, I, it's not Jay Exotic, but I wish. It, <laughs> but credit where credit is due. Jason Metcalf. Tell Kyle I can't draw a stick figure. <laughs> uh, uh, Kyle, uh, Jason says uh, he can't. Jason can't even draw. Or Jason, J our Jason can't draw a stick figure. Jason Metcalf, though, super talented, uh, an amazing illustrator from Seattle. Um, so yeah, it's actually really cool. So if, if anyone went to C2E2, um, or, or San Diego, um, we, we did panels with Jason Metcalf 
And uh, actually, it was my first ever panel that I designed and moderated for the company. Uh, it was all about the history of dark fantasy. And we had Jason Metcalf as a guest. And uh, he was telling how he had a major role in designing and uh, creating the concept for Van Helsing, uh, the character. And in particular, he had free reign on designing the monster of of uh, Frankenstein for that series. So I'm going to show you this super amazing image. This is this is in the, one of the cover images in the back. Um, so I love Jason's take on it. It has like he has like giant like Tesla coils or transformers stuck in his back. It has like a very cool mechanical or well, biomechanical feel. You can see like this en entire lower jaw is like grafted with a piece of metal. Uh, so again, Jason Metcalf, a really talented artist. Um, he's still doing okay. He's been hosting, um, like commissions and live streams on his own time. And, uh, really awesome. Really talented dude. Also another reason why I love Jason. Uh, he's a huge Dungeons and Dragons dork. Uh, he, like me and him every single time, uh, we, uh, I stop by his booth. We just talk a little bit at a shop about, uh, Dungeons and Dragons and, uh, it's really cool. Uh, that, that's another reason why I love him. Uh, great. So, uh, oof. That was awesome. So, Timothy, I have you down for... Oh, where'd it go? Here we go. Timothy Chandler. Congrats, congrats on winning this. Cool. So, that's it. That's just about it for uh, trivia. So, congrats to all of our winners. Uh, thanks for participating. Um, as always, uh, we'll, we'll do more trivia. Uh, so, we'll do trivia again for May the 4th, um, for our watch party on the 15th. Uh, we'll do another round of trivia. So there's plenty of chances to win cool prizes. So that's one of the cool benefits for tuning in with Coffee with Chris or just our live streams or uh, virtual cause in general. Um, so I know we had some late comers. That's right, Chuck. D&D &D dorks for the win. Uh, I can't get enough of D&D. &D. Um, so Rob, um, since you're still here or anyone who, uh, arrived late, I'm just going to go through a quick recap. So, um, so first of all, co custom art canvas prints, they're live on the web store right now. Um, Rob, I know specifically I sent you a, a response to your email, uh, for your Emerald city custom art print. Uh, but for anyone else who's interested, uh, we're taking custom art prints uh, from now until Monday, so May the 4th, the last day to do it. Um, there's regular art, regular custom art prints and Z-rated custom art prints. Uh, regulars are 140, 200, Z-rated are 200. Uh, when you purchase it on the web store and the notes section, please let us know uh, uh, what is the comic code or what's the code for the image. So it could be, for example, this image. So the cover, the cover code for this image is Grim Fairy Tale. Oh, I'm sorry, Grim Tales of Terror, uh, Volume Four, Issue One, Cover D. Uh, if you have trouble trying to look up that code, just shoot us an email or just try to describe the the cover. Uh, and like, let's say it's like uh, it's it's the Sun Emerald City uh, cosplay cover. Uh, we know we know already what that cover that code is. That's, that's that gives us enough information to. Uh, track it down, put it in the notes, and then I will talk to our vendor and you know put that into production. So, custom art prints until Monday. Uh, once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, they're going to be put back into the vault. So again, 140 for regular, uh, 20 by 30 prints. Uh, 200 for Z-rated 20 by 30 prints. Um, so some special news about our May the Fourth live stream. Um, uh, oh, actually, I skipped something. Okay, so um, let me. Here we go. So uh, we're hosting our next virtual con uh, in May. So it's it's gonna be the weekend leading up into Memorial Day, which is Monday the twenty fourth, twenty fifth. So we're hosting virtual con May twenty first to twenty third, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We'll be doing official press releases, email blasts, social media uh, in, the, in the coming week. Uh, but here, you heard it here first. 
May 21st to 23rd is our, our next virtual con. Uh, so stay tuned for more announcements. Uh, we're also doing a, another watch party. So um, our first watch party was last month. We did it for the Robin Hood watch party. So now we're doing a watch party for Comic Company. So this was a series uh, way back in the history of Zetascope. This came out in 2012, so about eight years ago. It's a it's a it's a mini series about like I would say 13 episodes. Each of them is like three to four minutes each, uh, and it's a lot like The Office or Parks and Rec. It gives you they're basically skits um, set in the life of. Uh, working for a comic book publisher and all the weird bizarre stuff that happens uh so it's really cool uh so we'll be doing a watch party uh on that day again may 15th uh at 3 p.m and then we'll have some special guest hosts who are uh part of the project and uh okay so now back to may the 4th so may the 4th uh again is monday starting at 12. uh i would say it would it would go at least three hours so no later than like 12 to 3:30. Um, we have a couple of special announcements. So, special guest uh, Ula Moss, uh, illustrator and colorist extraordinaire. She's going to be our special guest for uh, um, the live stream. She's going to appear from one to one thirty. Um, that's uh, on that ad image. That's one of the cosplay covers she's done for us. Amazing cosplay cover uh, of Masumi, one of our. Uh, our characters. Uh, I miss her. We haven't done a character with Masumi in a while, so I hope she comes back. And we'll have we could talk to Ula about how she created that cover, as well as any other questions you have in mind. So Ula Moss, amazing. Um, very excited to have her on. Um, lastly, um, ooh, wait, actually, two more things. So um, if you ordered a hoodie and um it has arrived or it's going to be in route either arriving before or on may the 4th uh if you wear that hoodie take a photo uh post it on social media tag us uh, at zenoscope whether it's on facebook twitter or instagram and use this hashtag uh zen hoodie xv xv for 15 because it's our 15 year anniversary so again post a photo wearing your awesome hoodie um, using a hashtag, and if you do that, um, if you post, uh, if we see on social media, or if you just email me a screenshot of that image, uh, you can just email it to me at chris.zenoscope. Uh, or I'm sorry, Ooh, wow, I cannot talk. Uh, chris.samsatzenoscope.com. So I'm gonna shoot my email uh, in the comment section again. Um, or if you buy a hoodie on May the 4th during the live stream, you will get this amazing. Um, GFT 2016 annual cover E mini art print. This is a really cool cosplay cover uh, by Paul Green. Uh, this hasn't been offered ever before as a mini art print format. So the only way to do it is either show off your hoodie or buy the hoodie during the live stream. Uh, okay. And one last, actually, let me check the comment section. Uh, <laughs> cool. All right. Yes, uh, we will share we will, all this information um, will be shared as events on Facebook. So don't worry about it. Uh, this is just kind of like a, a teaser, like a first reveal kind of thing. So that's uh, so that's why I'm really appreciative of everyone tuning in to conversate with Chris uh, for this edition. So these a lot of these are just brand brand new announcements, uh, uh, and we'll I, we'll obviously blast it on on email and social media uh into the coming week uh this is the first ever reveal of all of these events all these programs and teasers uh lastly um for everyone who's sticking around i'm only doing this one more time uh i am teasing a very very small snippet of our may the fourth uh cover or cosplay cover for this year we typically do been doing one for every year uh, last year paul green did an amazing one uh this time uh, Sun Kumanaki is doing this cover, so really brilliant cover. This is a very, very small snippet of it. Uh, I the you won't see the full reveal until May the fourth, so that's uh, it's imperative you show up for the May the fourth live stream. So I'm only going to show this for five seconds, okay? So ready, 
And go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. And that's it. So that's a teaser of our May the 4th cover. Uh, that's going to be on sale on the web store and during the virtual uh, during live stream on Monday. Brilliant cover by Sun. Really cool. Really exciting. Uh, that's right, Chuck. May is going to be a hell of a month. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be great. So that's about it. So thank you everyone for tuning in. That was, that was my recap just for latecomers. Um, and thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Michael. Um, thank you everyone. Uh, I hope you stay safe. Enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you. I'll see all of you on May the 4th. Cause it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be spectacular and stay safe out there. And, uh, let, let me know if you have any questions. Um, peace out Cub Scout. And I will, uh, yeah, thank you so much, Jason. Yes, I will answer my emails. Uh, the backlog is real. It's crazy. So many emails. Thank you, Robert. Thank you for, uh, thank you for participating. Thank you for tuning in. Congratulations for winning. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Trish, for being an amazing fan and for my hat. You're awesome. Uh, Trish, uh, shoot me an email and I, I will, we'll talk about your wonderland. Okay. Or, um, awesome. So have a great day, everyone. I'll see you soon.